Hello. So, this is kind of a non-conventional, traditional, conventional, unconventional, non-unconventional, I don't know, video that I'm doing. Welcome to Vlogmas, I'm Jasmine if you're new, welcome. But like, just track with me. Hold on one second. So I just got back from a dinner not too long ago where we were talking about, I don't have my earrings, hold on. Okay, we're better. So I just had, got back from a dinner not too long ago where we were just catching up and it was a really, really good time. And we were talking about Christmas and like Christmas traditions and whatever and just certain things that blow my mind <laughs> that I wasn't exposed to as an adult. And so I was like, oh my gosh, let's talk about it. So first of all, I've always, I've wondered about like how we manage, so this is mostly for the parents or like aunties and stuff, like how do we manage the transition from kids believing in Santa to not believing in Santa? Like what does that look like? And I've had conversations with a friend where we talked about like, so if you don't know Santa Claus isn't real, I really hope this isn't the video that you find out that Santa Claus isn't real because I really don't want to be that person, but also happy to help and um you know real in the sense of like actually coming into your home so my friend my dear sweet friend is very very a, much a realist and she was talking about like so you're telling me that somebody in a white suit in a red suit comes and breaks into your house and trespasses or whatever so of course she's very much like a realist and it's hilarious hearing it from her her eyes through her lens but talking about like santa claus i don't remember because my cousin and i are super close in age i don't remember when we realized that santa wasn't real but i do remember when we would like go to sleep and they would make us sleep in the basement at my grandparents house then they would get out. I can't remember if they got out the gifts or if the gifts were already there though I don't remember and they would set out cookies for Santa and milk and would like bite the cookies to make us believe that he had been there and like do some other stuff and now as an adult I'm going so you left the milk out all night or did you get up at like six Okay, and then our siblings are 10 years behind us, so they're really close in age too. And so then we became the ones who would make the cookies for Santa, take the bites, all of that stuff. And so I'm like, you know, that's really interesting perspective, but also like, I hear of certain parents, now I'm not a parent, this is literally just a, a 30 year old almost spectator, just trying to understand Christmas. <laughs> like, I love seeing Christmas through the lens of a child. My baby cousin is three years old and it is so sweet to just watch her get excited. She's at that age where it's fun and you know, excited for Santa Claus and all of that good stuff. And it's really, Really, really interesting just to watch like I am childish and so I love seeing things through a kid's eyes I feel like kids are they're curious and the uh, you know they have such broad imaginations and then you become adults and like reality sets in and bills and whatever sets in but I always love to look at things from like the perspective of a child which biblically talking about childlike faith that's what that means but then I just wonder about like what that looks like or how I'm going to manage this I'm sure I will come back to this when I am a parent and revisit this conversation with my husband and like how we manage work through that my future husband so I'm just like, okay. So I'm like, all right, so understanding Santa Claus and what that looks like. I don't remember how old the kids were when they realized that Santa Claus wasn't real. But then there's this other concept called Elf on a Shelf, which Elf on a Shelf is like, so Elf on a Shelf is basically like this. So the, the, apparently there's multiple ways that we can have this conversation. So there's one way where it's almost like another way for parents to monitor their children's behavior by, it's manipulation, but whatever, by, hey, the elf, which has a name, is gonna be positioned wherever. So the kid, have, the kid obviously thinks the elf is moving on its own. So the elf is like randomly on a shelf or randomly on the table or randomly in the bathroom or randomly whatever. And it's watching you and like it's gonna tell if you do anything and so like it keeps the kids in line which I first of all we didn't have an elf on the shelf when I was growing up so I don't track but also you mean to tell me some stuffed doll that I stayed up late to do some random sw swinging it and slinging it from the ceiling has more authority over my children than me and that's what it is right so that was kind of interesting I think I was an adult when I found that out like Okay, so then that's one thing. But then another thing with Elf on a Shelf is like all of these like really, really dramatic stunts and things like Elf got in the flower, so there's flower all over the place or whatever. And again, I think I'm competing my rational adult mind with no children and then my future parent mind that's gonna wanna do the most for my kids. We're having like an internal battle. Like I'm having, we're having a staff meeting right now. Cause it's like, so I'm gonna make a mess and waste food for this elf, for this stuffed animal and move it every day. Like, that's so interesting. 
We never had a phone to show up when I was growing up. Like, I'm just so fascinated. And I don't know, like, what what, what did it look like for y'all? I just remember, like, there was, like, the naughty and nice list, which naughty, I mean, we got whoopings. <laughs> so I don't, I mean, ugh, we, I mean, we got whoopings. And then there was, like, the naughty and nice list, and then Santa Claus would come or whatever. But, like, my grandparents never had a chimney at their house, so it's, like, and then I don't remember, like, I'm I'm too old and I'm, I don't have, like, I'm too old to be remembering my childhood and then I don't have any kids to, like, really have that conversation yet. But it's just like, what? And so it was just such an interesting conversation listening to, like, because they're both adults and, like, parental figures, parents talking about it. And it's like, so when your kids find out that Santa Claus isn't real, like, how does that go? Are they tra traumatized? Are they, like, mad at you? Do they feel lied to? Like, what? Or is it just kind of like, oh, that was fun and now it's over. Okay, this front is over. Like, how do we manage that? I would like to think, I would like to think, and I will revisit this as a, as a spouse, as a wife, I would like to think, and a mom, that I would partner with, I would say we partnered with Santa. Cause I do want my kids to get pictures with Santa, even though I am not a fan of people in costume. Like the Easter bunny is the cringiest thing to me. Or like mascots, I really don't like mascots like that. Like I just struggle a lot. Santa's cool cause it's like, it's just like somebody with a white beard and like a costume, so like, okay. Mascots kind of freak me out a little bit, but that's, you know, neither here nor there. And I do want to do that with my kids and like the excitement of Christmas and like obviously Christmas movies and stuff like that but I'm like how do we do this so I would like to think hey mom and dad worked we have good jobs God has been faithful to us and he's allowed for us to have you know money and finances and things like that to be able to get you what you want and what you need but we did partner with Santa Claus I don't know I, I, I don't know like we, I, I have to really think about that I really don't know but what do you think what do you think like, like let me know if you're a parent let me know what you did do your kids still believe do they not believe what does that conversation look like like, I just don't know. So, yeah, that's really all I had today. <laughs> like, this is this is it. If you have any questions, let me know. Or answer my questions, because I ask a lot of questions. I actually ask, ask, I ask questions first. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Keep continuing with Vlogmas. It's been fun. And uh, hopefully I'll get answers. I don't know. We'll see. But all right. Love you guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.